Okay, so now let's go ahead and design something with all these Legos we made. Or right now we only have one, but we're going to have more. So I'm going to go ahead, start a new assembly file, standard.iam. And then you have to do one of the most difficult things in this class. You have to find something that you want to do. So when I think about Lego projects, I usually just type in pixel art, or you could type in Lego projects, and you could look around and find a project that you want to do, because usually you could say like each of these is equal to a 2 by one Lego, and you can construct something, well that's pretty cool, um, out of Legos. So it really depends on what you want to do. This over here would probably take forever, so you know, you might not want to do something that sophisticated, but you know, if you wanted to do something more simple, there's some good designs. There's some really cool stuff here. I don't know what our school computers are going to give us, uh, but if you see something you like or you can bring an image from home and you can do it that way. So let's say I decided I wanted to make this link over here. I'd probably take an image like this and save it somewhere and then I would start determining what each of these pieces is going to be. So looking over here I'm going to say each block for me is going to be equal to let's say a 2x2 two two Lego. So this could be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that would be a 2x10 Lego for the foot. So now I just head over to my Super Lego for my 2x6 file and I'm going to save this as save as a 2x10 because you have to make this project empirically, meaning that if you can make it in a 2x10, you make it in a 2x10, you don't make it in 5 2x2s. And I'm going to save that. Uh, yes, that's fine. And then I'm going to hop over to my parameters and I'm going to change this to a 2 by 10 Lego. Boom. Okay. Uh, clearly something is a little iffy over there so you know I can easily fix this if I just create a 2D sketch and I just cut out what isn't working for me. And the great part is if I do this once for a 2 by 10 I don't have to do it again. Okay, I'm just going to fix that real quick. And you know, if you don't have a 2x10 Lego, you don't have to like make it or make this fix. I'm just going to take care of that. Okay. And that's actually going the other way. 0.325. Okay, lovely. Uh, there's my 2 by 10. I'm going to go ahead and do a, or I already saved it, so now I hit save. And now I can hop over to my assembly. I can place it down. Super Lego 2 by 10. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And I can place one down. Um, and looking at it, there's that 2 by 10 and then there's a 2 by 8 on top of it. Or there's a 2 by 2 on the side. So look, this is one of the Lego pieces. I'm going to make a 2 by 2 and put it up here. So go over to my 2 by 10 now. I'm going to do a save as. I'm going to save it as a 2 by 2. And notice that I'm doing this beforehand instead of making the changes and then saving it because if you accidentally save it before and you make changes to it or after and make changes to it then it can mess up all your assembly. So I'm saving before so it prevents that from happening. So once I save it, head over to my parameters, adjust that to be a 2x2, two two, accept and that looks fine. And now I'll save it, go to my assembly, and I'm going to place in a 2x2. Two two. Well, 
like that. And then, you know, you're going to get really, really good at this, but it's all we're just going to hook it all together. So let's go to constrain. You know, make this surface, that surface. Whoops. Hit apply. And then flush this surface with that surface. Hit apply. And we could flush this surface with that surface um, in order to match at least my part like that. And if I wanted this, let's say, one peg apart, remember that the distance is 0.3125, so if I used an offset of 0.3125, it will move it one unit in that direction, so on and so forth. Um, but in this case, I don't, so I'm just going to hit that, hit OK. I'm going to put on one more piece so that you can that it's pretty straightforward. Drop that down, constrain it. Let's say I want this to be two apart. I can flush this to this, hit apply, flush that to that, hit apply, and then mate that to that. It's a really quick process once you get the start of it. And then once you're stacking these on, every, I don't know, 20 minutes or so, you might want to just take a quick pause and just go ahead and color the pieces that you have. So you don't have to do the coloring beforehand, you can color them now and thus color them to match whatever you're making. Okay, so go ahead and put together a Lego creation, make it 200 parts, which you know might sound like a lot of time, but it, it really, it's really quick, and most of your creations will be way beyond 200 probably, or pretty close beyond that. So anyway, that concludes this video. I will see you in the next video after you've completed your assembly to making the Lego people. Okay, till then.